Whiskey Wednesday. This week we're chatting about a brand that you might all know, but a bottle you may not have seen. So this is a 1997 vintage, 20 year old single cask, uh, bottled and chosen exclusively for the whiskey shop. And it's one of only 249 bottles produced. This is bottle number 36, it is mine. Um, as you can see, I've been enjoying it quite a lot. It's a natural cash strength whiskey of 51.4%. There's no coloring, there's no chill filtration. Uh, and it's a beautiful, natural, kind of golden colour. There's nothing really messing around with it at all. Um, let's crack on and see what it smells like. Those are all the factors, those are all the fun little numbers and quirks. The smell. You do get a little tingle of booze. It's natural cash strength, so you always should expect that. It's not off-putting though, it's kind of like a, um, a little spicy tingle of spice through, you know. But it's dominated by these really rich honey white chocolate, vanilla, fudge and toffee kind of flavours. Very sweet. As you would expect from a bourbon barrel. More exotic fruits come out. Just kind of pineapples, again with those coconuts, mangoes, kiwis, limes, lemons. Just very big. Not throwing loads at you, just loads of these little flavours kind of coming at you all at once. Let's taste it. The taste is dominated by two things. One is kind of like um, tinned fruit syrups, you know, pineapple syrup, mango syrup. It's not the oiliest whiskey in the world, it's actually quite light in texture, but it delivers a lot of very concentrated flavour. So wherever it happens to be on your tongue, on your cheeks, whatever, that part of your mouth gets all of the flavour profile. It really kind of swells. The second flavour, and it isn't something that I thought I'd agree with, actually something that is listed in the tasting notes which is spicy coconut now I've never tried spicy coconut but it has a taste of coconut with like this kind of chili flake thing going on it as well finish is dry I'd expect that for a cash strength 20 year old um, I won't say too dry but you know it does leave you kind of either wanting another sip or a glass of water one more sip then we'll score it and we'll see what's happening That chili and that spice really just kick up towards the end. In conjunction with all the oak spice and so the more you sip it, the more you feel it, but you will, it's whiskey. I think that's a solid eight and a half. Um, you know, being so far through the bottle, I've really enjoyed it. My friends have really enjoyed drinking it as well. Um, I love Bar Blair, they're a great distillery. And this is it's very nice to be able to own one of these single cast bottles. So altogether, eight and a half out of 10. Really love the bottle, nice alternative to, you know, like single cask Lindronics and single cask Abelors if you can find them. Uh, about £140 and would pay again. So there you go. Eight and a half out of ten. Thank you for watching. This is The Whiskey Jar. I've been Phil and we will see you all next week. Cheers.